There we go. It seems to be less complicated than it actually is. Okay, the actual thing is going here. Good. Good. I... Hey, it, it's Sunday afternoon. I know it's kind of a weird time to for me to stream on the weekend, but I just kind of feel like playing Majora's Mask. I, I'm, I'm turning the thing on. and I'm just going to do the first dungeon. So, yeah. That's what we're doing. So, when we last left off, we started the first... Uh, we started the cycles and just kind of getting everything and went ahead and did all the stuff in Woodfall Temple. So now, getting to Woodfall Temple, we are going to now get to Woodfall Temple uh, today. That is our, our goal for this specific cycle is to complete Woodfall Temple. And that is doing all we can in there. So what I like to do for each cycle, I do actually like to make a stop over to... If I can jump it. Damn it. <laughs> I like to make a stop over here to the, uh, to the rupee. To the 100 rupees over here. I feel like playing with the word mask right now, so that's why I'm doing it. with Pierre every cycle if you do that every cycle with Pierre you're able to summon him at certain points to uh use the hook shot target. I just did for fun right there.
start the wood ball temple. First thing to do. for the various stray fairies that are in here. The stray fairies can be in chest, they can be floating uh, enemies that can happen as well. can have them, uh, other various things can kind of have them at any time as well. Things in the uh, in this game's lost woods, but you didn't actually see it defeat them. Uh, you don't have to worry about that either. You're 
into that. Like I am. Majora's Mask is death. If you do die in Majora's Mask, it's actually not as stressful as uh, playing Ocarina. Like, they're not stressful at all, but you actually start, like, I think, in the same room that you died in. Majora's Mask. There is no real death in this game. Uh, so this is actually like, it's very different from any of the Zelda games as well. I think I did die once to see what happened. I, it's hard to die. I think it's kind of hard to die in this game. Uh, so you'll be all right. This is the actual puzzle and the timekeeping is, is the, the bigger game. And I like doing this. Part of the reason why I like this game so much. Yeah, we'll come back to that one later. There are stray fairies in this room. However, I don't think I can get them yet. That one, that one down there, but I think I need the bow, which we will get in this time. Let's try this. actually like to play the song of, uh, the song of inverted time to, uh, help with the time here. So I might just do that here. Only because after the dungeon there's some stuff I want to do. It's only open after the, uh, the, the Woodfall Temple is, uh, completed.
No wall masters here, but this is gonna be a little bit. Those are holes. Those play at the lower floor. Remember, right? There is actually a. One thing you can do is you can check if there's a stray fairy in a room. typically give you a, a ding of some kind if there's a stray fairy in the room. The, uh, the great fairy's mask also attracts stray fairies to you. So if there's one unencumbered in the room, you can, uh, you can guide it towards you. to that flower and then we'll shoot up. a shortcut for us to use. Yeah, this 
is a spinning flower room. Yep, that's what this is. This is the uh, other room here. for a dungeon item and a, then also for the uh, dungeon's uh, boss key as well. So, none of the bow does. Aim it, shoot things. Here's our other mini boss. The gecko. So, this is one of the speed shuttle things. to remember this frog. We will have to come back if we want to do the uh, there's a heart piece later on in the game. Uh, if we want to get that heart piece, we'll have to come back to that frog. Uh, but it is also for a piece as well, I think. Maybe. Maybe in the, maybe in the 3DS version it records that as a notebook piece. As a notebook piece. We have the boss key now. You've probably seen a couple. You've probably seen one or two frogs already. Uh, 
Uh, we saw one in Woodfall, or in the Swamp uh, Cruise, and we saw one at the uh, Clocktown Wash Room area. And then we found one here. So, um, thing from Ocarina of Time, arrows can pass through fire. That's what we're gonna do here. through the dungeons a couple things I haven't found yet. I did sort of skip the door a little bit. Um, I want to go back through, around through there again. I also did uh, want to get the stray fairy that was in not this room. damage in this water anymore because we've uh, technically we've solved the poison problem in the, dun in the dungeon by spinning the flower. Yep, and that's, all you, that's all you need to uh, cure your, for your water problems. Let's see. <laughs> 
So I'm missing six fairies here. And one room I haven't gone in yet. Plus that that room over there, but I, I know I know there's actually quite a few stray fairies in that last room. I remember how to get in there. have my uh, bow on the uh, left on the left one that's why I'm using it I know there's quite a few stray fairies in the uh, in the last room. Like I think there's three of them in there. So I'm missing about two. dungeon that's not as important for the stray fairies, uh, at least in this version. In the uh, 3DS version, uh, they've actually changed the rewards of uh, what's in what you get for the stray fairies in Woodfall. They uh, switched them for Woodfall and Snowhead. Um, what is Snowhead? Uh, straight fairies, and maybe this is where they are. Thank <laughs> you. 
there are like four of them in here. So. Now, there is actually one more stray fairy. Uh, I don't remember where it is off the top of my head, but I will go back and look for it after this boss. Uh, that's something else we can do in Majora's Mask. Um, so we can go back into the dungeons and find these stray fairies. But I'll hold off for now. We will go ahead and do the boss fight.
bosses for a Zelda game. And now... We've seized Odawa's remains. Now we've learned the oath to order. open Woodfall's back door. And actually, I know it's Stray Fairy I'm missing. Okay. Hey, you're pretty good out there. Have you done, have you done this before or what? Thank you. 
So I did actually have a bottle here for a potion if I needed it, but I don't need it. There is one way to carry the deck of princess, and it's this. Well, that's, that's one way to do it. So, I did say, however, I would go back into find out where that fairy is. I, I figured it. I, I remember where that fairy is. So we're going to do that real fast. That should not take too long at all now that the, the swamp is now back to normal. It's now just regular water. We can we can go through normally. It's easier. I can actually fly there, but really, it's it's, it's about as fast. Just kind of walk our way there. And then we'll go restore the stray fairy and get our reward. Which, like I said, this reward is not as important as the one in Woodfall. Snowhead. At least in the three, at least in the uh, N64 version, the um, the 3DS version, the stray fairy locations are a little different, and uh, your reward for doing that dungeon, this dungeon, is a little bit different. It's the snowhead reward instead. We also have a warp. Whenever we come back to this dungeon now, we can warp straight to the bo to the boss room in order to refight that boss uh, on different side. Like if we go back right now, we won't refight o Odawa. Uh, we will only, you know, we'll only see his remains, of course. He'll only he'll only be back on new cycles. But if we want to restore the swamp back to its uh to to the uh, restored um, on a new cycle, we do have to refight the boss again. Um, we won't fight Odawa too many times anymore. Uh, we don't really need to, unless there is something I forget to do. Uh, is that too? But as long as we. Uh, However, there is a boss that we will fight all the times uh, doing this uh, in this game. Probably more than, I'd say, about three times. And that's uh, the Snow Head Temple boss. Because we'll have to make spring a couple times uh, if I'm not if I'm not efficient enough. Right. I think this is the room. Maybe. Let me relook at this real quick.
You can also use the Song of Soaring to warp to the entrance of the dun of dungeon. So there's no, there's no Pharaoh's Wind in this game, but that's that's just the way around. That, that's that's because there's a Song of Soaring. So now what we're gonna do is we're gonna go to. So we've already completed the dungeon. It's not even, it's not even the end of the first day. I've slowed down time though. That's the reason why it's, uh, we're just getting to the second day here. So I may speed up time for the rest of the cycle because I'm not going to do uh, Snowhead yet on this cycle. We'll go ahead and just do that on its own cycle, I think. Um, and then we'll take care of some things we can do, though. But first off, it's a reward. So we could already do a spin attack, but our spin attack was not very, uh, was, uh, not very a wide range. Uh, this is the new spin attack range. So now we have that. Uh, it's not the most important upgrade, but it's, it's still a pretty decent upgrade for right now. Uh, we'll get the next upgrade in, uh, Snowhead Temple, and that's gonna be the magic meter. Upgrade. That's gonna be more important. Uh, what we might do in that one, I'm um, thinking about, we may actually leave the dungeon and get that upgrade before fighting the boss. Uh, that boss requires magic. There's no getting around that one being a magic fight. Should be afraid.
Similar to the, uh, there's a uh, race kind of like this in um, Ocarina of Time with uh, Dominic Gracie, but this is very similar to that. We're racing for a door to not close on us. Hopefully, I can just correctly. Doors. It's not just one door, it's multiple doors. Also, you don't want to touch fire as a deco, you'll actually restart the area that you're currently in. As a Deku or a Zora, you don't want to get hit by the uh, fire. By fire, uh, but Zora is going to be uh, beat later. Oh, my God. 
There's a there's a bit of story there with the deck with the um with what Deku the skull could actually pull their story from to create the form link. Uh, the game isn't touch too much anymore on it except for the uh, the little scene in the be in the ending now so we now have the magic sense. Getting each mask completes like, more of the ending. And that's why we're really doing it. One more thing in the swamp, but I don't think I want to do it quite yet. I'm going to wait until I get more bottles. And I'll do it on another uh, side quest.
Good. Well, we were just doing uh, Majora's Mask. I went ahead and uh, finished the um, on this, and I explained everything in excruciating detail of how to do that dungeon. So we have that. We got the Oath to Order. And I have the big spin attack. Oh, is, is the game a little too loud? Let me see here. Maybe that's me. I had to reset my mic before stream, so I wonder if that's part of it too. Let me try something here. <laughs> I didn't even notice you were there, turtle. Try that. Here we go. That's good. We'll try that. You are sneaky. <laughs> You are sneaky. You always have been. Let these wolves howl for a little bit. Let's see, what's a fun one to do here? So our next destination, um, I think I'll do next stream, however. Uh, I do Majora's Mask. I will be heading to Snowhead. Great fun, though. Snowhead. Snowhead's real fun. I like Snowhead a lot. A whole area. Yeah, now we have the bow. Oh no, uh, snow. Yeah, it's the uh, it's the, um, the snow area, ice area. Uh, it kind of canyon's not gonna be till uh, last. We'll handle that area at the end. Um, is there anything else I want to do here on this cycle? I don't think so. The old lady's already been robbed. What happens to old ladies when I'm not here to uh, cut a guy's bag off? And... I think we're pretty much set uh, for the next cycle. Ow! 
Actually, I hate to cut it off. I'm gonna do a little. There's one thing I guess I'll show off, but it'll be. It'll take me a little bit to get to it, so I'll stream for a little longer here on this. that happen in Clock Town that is at 10 p.m. The Curiosity Shop opens. Hey. And you can sell things to him. We're <laughs> him to our notebook because he will eventually uh, have item an item that we need to buy for sale. I think on the third night he has the uh, All Knights mask. Of course he has a he just has a straight up iron knuckle back there. Like yeah this guy's this guy's, this guy knows what's up. <laughs> so the upgrade over ten rupees. Um no, it's gotta be. I think it has to be bottled stuff. <laughs> mm, I think it has to be bottled stuff. Oh no, it's an iron knuckle. That it's an iron knuckle specifically back there. That's, that's what the iron knuckles look like uh, when we fight them later. But um. We'll fight Iron Knuckles later. We can't get in there yet without a proof of membership. We need a mask. Yeah, they're in, um... They are in Ocarina of Time. Uh, they are in, um... The Spirit Temple. And they're also in Ganon's Castle. In uh, Majora's Mask, we're gonna find them in Ikana Canyon. As uh, mini boss enemies. There's actually not much else I can do here, so I'm gonna go ahead and run to the bank. But I will show one final thing off before we save. I'll, I'll save and stop to, for today. It's just gonna be a short one because I just hit the first dungeon. Oh, and there's this guy too. See this guy here? He's about to make a sale. Forgot. I for I completely forgot about that cutscene. Uh, but yeah, you can get them in there. We already have the big bomb bag, so we don't have to worry about uh, about that specifically. So we're good. Mm 
Oh no, we're not withdrawing. Here we go. Build up the rupees a little more. One, two, four, five. However, on a new cycle, it is back. Nice 100 rupees. Now there is a way to get the uh, 200 to get 200 rupees uh, at once, but it's a little more complicated. Uh, we have to go fight the Takuri bird, and I don't want to fight the Takuri bird because it's. It takes a lot of hits, and it can steal my stuff, and I don't like it stealing my stuff. I think it mostly just steals, like, if it. Like, it's either your bottle items or your shield. Easier to get those. So, what I'm gonna do. off our other song. Oh. Song of Double Time lets us skip to the final day, to uh, other days, uh, just down the line. So if we play it one more time, we'll go to the night of the final day. I did it last time, but I didn't do it completely. I need to. He's gonna cut down the moon at, at night. I'm streaming. That, that that makes me worse at video games. That's what that's what happens. Yeah! <laughs> 
really funny because like jump slash is the easiest thing to do. <laughs> A press. <laughs> I don't think I've ever seen this bobblehead shake like that. Wait for the moon to go again. I stared at a cap for an hour in game. There it goes. I gotta be honest, I, I don't think I've ever seen that before. That's neat. <laughs> yeah, it is. Like, oh yeah, the postman. We'll, we'll, we'll get to the postman later. That good, I think. I think we're pretty much good for this cycle. So I will show one more detail that... I, I think people know about, but I don't know how much they know about it. So one thing, when I'm replaying Majora's Mask, this is something I like to do. I, I did this when I was playing for the first time as well, is I discovered what happens if we go back to the final night and try to face the Skull Kid again? Just a little bit. Actually, we'll talk to this guy. Good. <laughs> All right, we got a second. Stretch. I'll show up this one thing here before we. Before I go and end for today, that's pretty much all I really wanted to do this cycle was to do the first dungeon, get the, get the Mask of Sense, and um, we're prepared now to go ahead and do Snow, to do Snowhead next. So that'll be next time I stream, which will probably be tomorrow. Um, if I play Majora's Mask, we'll do that, but um, or I might pick something else for variety. We'll see. We'll see what happens here, but we'll give it a little bit more time before we uh, stop here. So, June, if you're still there, uh, how's La how's Labyrinth coming along then? <laughs> Go. 
good. Good. I'm, I'm glad it's going okay. I, I know you were struggling a little bit on it, uh, on finishing it, but it's good. It's it's good. You're. It's good. Sorry, right. I'm working on a small RPG myself, and it's uh, it, it's less cutscenes than Silas, but I don't know. It's a little less fun for me. <laughs> I'll admit, but I'm, I'm still enjoying it. I'm still enjoying what I'm, I'm doing. <laughs> I might have to make something big now. I'm working on... I, I'm really working on one. <laughs> oh. Not the, not the wooden game. Turtle. <laughs> But yes, if, if you do play the wooden game, the wooden physical game, just flick your wrist a little bit. You can get your marble over there to jump the wall. Um, I'm really only working on one um, right now. It's the uh, it's the one using the RPG Maker FES graphics, which I have learned that I just kind of hate that tile set entirely. I don't. I'm not gonna. I don't think I'm ever gonna use it again. <laughs> but uh, it's fine. It's fine. <laughs> Keep it around for other uses. I'm like, no, it's, it's back to RTP for me. Back to regular RTP for me, or I don't know, making something. <laughs> but the uh, the small RPG I'm working on is a very, 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 very light RPG. <laughs> with like we'll see <laughs> or custom graphics you know if I if I decide to do that at some point <laughs> I've made I've made games with my own graphics though before so Mo moon is all my own graphics and bunny the bunny games are pretty much all my own graphics except for a couple of people who uh, did some sprites for me on those as well. So I wanted to wait for this moment again. do this a couple times just because I like I like this particular thing that happens I know it is <laughs> even though I had you test Silas Couldn't even beat Silas. I don't know what you're talking. I don't know what that is. Even hey, June beats June beats Silas. It's all right. It's all right. <laughs> right, the anime adaptation of Silas, which will so totally happen. So, uh, hey, you can come back here anytime and do this. <laughs> uh, gotta do the chorus, uh, hentai. Got it.
so you can do this at any time after uh, getting the, uh, the first uh, giant. And this will happen. Because you get the oath to order any time, and you, you can play at any time, but... As you've noticed, the other giants... ...are not coming. Right, he's not going to be able to do it on his own. But... But it won't work. So unfortunately, that doesn't work. That's okay. We have time travel. And that's our save. That is our save and the start of a new cycle. Um, I think from there, I would go and stop right here uh, from Adora's Mask. Let's do a reset there. I'll just let that kind of play while ending here. So yeah, next time we do play, I'll um, next time playing with Adora's Mask, we'll do the uh, north. We'll start going north. Um, that'll either be Monday or Thursday, whichever one I decide to stream Adora's Mask on, or if I decide to change it up a little bit, it'll probably be Monday, because I can... <laughs> I can play Majora's Mask pretty much anytime I want. <laughs> like, yeah. Majora's Mask is still, I think, fantastic. So, um, I will go ahead and do that at some point. So, thank you both for coming out, and anybody else who's bought, I don't know... I think this is only two viewers on there, but that's absolutely fine. It's a weird time for me to stream. I just felt like doing it now, so I didn't have to do it later on tonight. I wanted to play Majora's Mask for a little bit. So, yeah, I think that's good. For now. Um, thank y'all for coming out, and I will see you all at some point later on. Uh, probably tomorrow. And it will be very, very good. Because uh, Snowhead's very good. That's fine, June. I, I streamed at a weird time, so it's not a, it, it's not a big deal. Thanks. <laughs> You're cool too. <laughs> and good luck on good luck on uh, Labyrinth and getting uh, getting that done. I'm looking forward to it. So I will see you all at some other time. In the meantime, good night.